Let's say that I'm trying to add the number 1,576, and I'll add to that 1,321. All right, so again, we always start in the right-hand column. Six plus one is seven, so that goes right in this column. Seven, let's go up. Eight, nine goes in this column. Five, let's go up. Six, seven, eight, that goes in this column. And one plus one is two. So no regrouping in that problem. It's straight addition. The answer is 2,897. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Let's say we have 2,895. And we'll add to that 1,435. We'll add these two numbers together. So again, we start in the right-hand column. 5 plus 5, you know those are complements. 5 plus 5 is 10. So we can't write 10 down here. It's a two-digit number. So we'll put the 0 and we'll carry the 1. Now, the easiest way to add these is to know that 9 plus 1 is 10. Those are complements. Anything that adds together to make 10 is a complement. So this is 10 plus 3 is 13. And so 13 again, we have to put a three and we have to carry a one. All right, so here we have nine, eight plus one is nine. And then let's count up 10, 11, 12, 13. So again, 13 is a two digit number. So we'll put a three, we'll carry a one up here. And then we have two and then three and then four. And so four goes in the first column right here. And the answer is 4,330. All right, so you see four digit uh, addition is not really any harder. We just have an extra, uh, extra column, so we have more steps. Critically important is I want you to be able to line up your columns and write things neatly. That's actually more important than anything because if you write everything down neatly, then you will have a much higher chance of getting the right answer. All right, let's say you have 2,487, and we'll add to that 1,650. Eight. So we'll add these two numbers together. So here we have uh, eight. Let's go up seven more. That's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that gives us 15. Of course, that's two digits. So we have to write the five here and carry the one. Now, the easiest way to add this is to know that this is nine, right? So this is nine here together. Nine plus five, nine plus five has is, is got to be 14, right? You know that even without counting, because if it were 10 plus five, it would be 15 but it's nine plus five, so it's 14. And if you wanna count that out, you can, but we have nine plus five, that's 14. So we put the four here, we carry the one. Here, we know that six and four, those are complements. We know it makes 10. You can count it out if you like, but six and four, I want you to start to remember is 10. One more is 11. And so to write 11 down, we have to put a one here and we carry a one. And then we have two, then three, then four. And so a four goes here and we get 4,145, 4,145. 45. All right, let's take a look at problem number four. Let's take a look at 4,150, and we'll have, we'll add to that 1,000. Let's put, make this one a little nicer. Uh, 472. We'll add these together. So 1,472. So in the right-hand column, two plus zero is still a two. Seven, We'll go up 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 we have to write as a 2 here and carry the 1. Here we have 4, then 5, then 6. So 6 goes in this column. And then 4 plus 1 is 5. And so the answer we get is 5,622. All right, so you see the process, once we get in the hang of it, once we get in the groove, it's really not hard. We just have to practice, write everything very neatly. Let's say we have 5,558. And then we have 3,837. Notice how everything is lined up. Nothing is kind of off, and that helps us greatly. Now let's take a look at eight. Let's go up seven more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 15. So we have to write that as a five down here, and we'll carry the one. Now we have five, then we have six, then we have here seven, eight, nine. So that's nine in this column. And here we have eight, let's go up five more. That's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 we have to write as a three down here, carry a one. Then we have five, then six, then seven, eight, nine. So a nine goes right here. The answer is 9,395. All right, that was the halfway mark. That's problem number five. All right, let's take a look at problem number six. Let's take a look at 2,797, and we'll add to that 2,613. So we start, as we always do, 
in the right-hand column. Here we have seven plus three. You should recognize that as a complement. Seven and three go together like peanut butter and jelly to make 10. You can count it out if you like, seven going eight, nine, 10, of course, but I want you to start remembering them. 10, we'll put a zero and we'll carry the one. Then we have nine plus one is 10, plus one more is 11. We'll write that as a one down here, carry the one, that's the 11. And there's a couple of different ways you can add this, but let's just start by saying seven, then we have eight, and then we need to add these. So we have eight, here we go, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 we write as a four, carry the one here. Two plus two is four, plus one is five. The answer is 5,410. 5,410. All right, let's take a look. We only have four more problems. What if we have 1,949? We'll add to that 1,799. All right, so let's go off to the end. What is nine plus nine? You may not remember that until you think about it, that that's the same as nine times two, because nine plus nine is the same as nine times two. And nine times two for multiplication tables is 18. So hopefully you remember that. If you don't remember, count it out. I'll let you do that uh, yourself. We've done it many times before. But nine plus nine is 18 because nine times two is 18. So uh, we'll put that as an eight and we'll carry a one right here, that's 18. So here we have nine, this is 10, and then 10 plus four is the 14. So we'll write that as a four and we'll carry a one. Easiest way to add this is to know that these make 10. Nine plus one is 10, of course, and then plus the seven is 17. So you write that as a seven, carry the one. And then one plus one plus one is three. So you get 3,748. You know, this uh, step right here, if you go nine plus seven and then add the one, it works fine, of course. You can add them any way you want. But it's easier if you just go ahead and make the 10 first and then the seven because getting the 17 is just much easier to think about. All right, three more problems. Let's take a look at 300, 500, I'm sorry, 3,552, and we'll add to that 4,437. We'll add these together. All right, so what do we have? Seven, let's go up, eight, nine. So we'll have nine in this column. Five, let's go up, six, seven, eight. Eight goes right here. Five, let's go up, six, seven, eight, nine goes right here. And then four, let's go up, five, six, seven, right here. So we didn't have to do any carrying or anything. 7,989. All right, two more problems. Here's the next one. 2,882, and we'll add to that 6,999. 6,999, okay. So we start with nine, we go up. 10, 11. 11 we write as a one here, we carry a one. Now there's different ways to do this one as well. Uh, you could think of this as nine, and then nine plus nine is 18, the same reason as before, nine times two is 18, that's one way. Another way to think about it is nine plus one is 10, so these make 10, and then you have eight more, that's 18. So whatever you wanna do, it's fine with me. So we'll write the 18 as a eight, and we'll carry a one. Same thing here, we have 10 here, plus eight is 18. So we'll put an eight here, we'll carry a one. Six, then we have seven, eight, then we have nine. So we have a 9,881 for the final answer here. Only one more. Let's take a look at 8,467, and we'll add to that 1,456. So 8,467, 1,456. Seven, let's go up, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's gonna be a 13, which means a three, carry a one. Now you can do this any way you want, but this is the way I like to do it. I have five plus one is six, right? And I know that six plus six is 12. I just happen to remember that six plus six is 12. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say that this is 12. You can add them in a different order and, and you get the right answer. Four plus four is eight, one more is nine, and then eight plus one is nine. So the answer is 9,923. So here we've started to build your skills with adding four digit numbers. And you can see that just by adding an extra digit or an extra column, it makes the problems a little bit longer, but the critical key to all of these and to adding any large numbers or subtracting large numbers is to line them up. I want you to look at how I'm doing it. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm definitely not you know, a, a perfect, you know, per, I don't write things perfectly, but I try to line things up. 
I try to make it clear letters. I don't scribble letters. I don't uh, have things off-centered. I, I like to line them up. My carry marks, my, my ones that I'm carrying are very clear. And that way, when you're solving the problem, you don't get confused. So take a few seconds and write it as neatly as you possibly can, and it'll do much, much better, I promise. So solve these yourself. When you feel like you're understanding, follow me on to part two. We'll get our final bit of practice with adding four digit numbers. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.